Sam Nua is an interesting capital city out in the northeastern area of Laos. It is just west of Vietnam and south of China. The surrounding areas around Sam Nua are inhabited by several tribes, so if you visit the marketplace here you will find a diverse selection of interesting things for sale that come from many cultures. Among the piles of freshly farmed and foraged produce, you will find heaps of rodents, bugs, and critters for sale, some of them cut open to show the freshness of their entrails. I went to the market looking for interesting fruit and was sadly disappointed. I was informed that the rental costs for the main marketplace recently increased and many of the small tribal vendors couldn't afford the rent. However, I heard about another market about two kilometers north of the central city and I set off to hunt for something new. Here, I was not disappointed. An old woman at the local market was selling this peculiar fruit. She only had three of them for sale and they provoked much interest even by the local shoppers. I had no idea what the hell this thing was or if it was even edible, but I bought one for about 50 cents and took it back to my hotel. After much deliberation and discussion with other fruit obsessives, I found that this was what you call a Cadsura heterocleta, an extremely rare fruit that grows in Southeast Asia and is used medicinally. So I've, I've been thinking I'd be able to find some really crazy fruit here, and um, I haven't really seen that much until now. I found one that I think kind of uh, makes up for the lack of how interesting things that I've found. This guy. Check this guy out. How crazy is this looking? I looked it up, it says it's edible, so I'm going to attempt to eat it. And not the whole thing, I think I'm going to take like, it comes apart in like little, little lobes here, if you see like they just, they just come out just like that, it's like these little, little segments, and some of them look, it looks like it's a little rough, you know, there's no bugs or anything. But, um, you see it's like a little brown, so I'm gonna poke through this and just try to find like a really nice wedge, a nice clean wedge that looks, um, nice and fresh. Uh, that's, that's a better one. Yeah, there you go. And I'm gonna wash the hell out of this, and I'm gonna nibble at it and see if it tastes any good. I took one and I washed it. I'm still gonna peel it as well. <laughs> that's like how cautious I am with this. Um, gotten sick eating fruit before, and I'm not willing to let that happen again. So let me just peel it like a little, like a little banana. It smells like a little, little sour. I can't really, um, can't really describe it. It's very mild smelling. Inside there's little little seeds and they have like a like a gel around them. Maybe around the size of like a watermelon seed, but as you see they're they're like like a light brown color. There's like a little fleshy area at the bottom here. And then there's the seeds that have like a little jelly kind of casing over it. It's pretty good actually. Um The fruit towards the end of it here has more flavor to it. It's a little more creamy looking. This is going to be a hard one to describe. You know, I, I'm picking up like a... like a flowery kind of taste. Like, um, like a floral taste. Kind of like um, lavender. Especially when I eat the... Um, the piece at the at the bottom here, the fruit that's like nestled in there. So the flavor of it is um, 
Kind of different. It's difficult to describe, of course, but um, I, I would say it's it's sweet. It's a little bit sour, like a little bit of tartness to it. Um, it has like a citrusy kind of taste, kind of like a little bit like um like a mild grapefruit or lemon rind kind of flavor. It reminds me a little bit like um, Langsat and a little bit like a, like a Wampy, especially because it has a a little bit of like a peppery taste the way of a, a Wampy does, and it's got a little bit of the citrusy um, slash like berry-ish kind of flavor like a Langsat does. So um, yeah, this is really uh, interesting fruit, and I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Like this is like an incredible looking thing. I think um, this is probably like, the strangest looking fruit that I've ever seen, and um, yeah, I'm lucky to have found it because this is, uh, if it is what I think it is, um, it's very rare. This is an incredible find, no matter what it is, and I did eat some of it, so hopefully I won't die and I won't get parasites. But uh, we'll just have to see. But um, yeah, I mean, I've spent you know a lot of time going to the marketplaces in Laos, hoping to find you know interesting fruits and. Um, so far, this thing takes the cake. If I don't find anything else interesting, I think that's okay because uh, this one is a uh, is a pretty big one. I'm I'm happy. I mean, this makes the uh, the ventures out to the marketplaces worthwhile. Yeah. So thanks for watching me eat something that you probably will never get a chance to eat. But if you ever find yourself in you know remote area in in Southeast Asia. Take a poke around the marketplaces. You never know what you'll find. Um, you might find something, you know, rare and crazy like this. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.